The new comedy, Harry and the Hendersons, tells the story of an ordinary family and their experiences with an extraordinary creature named Harry. My God, my God, my God! Harry's identity was kept a closely guarded secret during shooting in the Pacific Northwest. The cast, however, recalled their reactions to first meeting the mysterious creature. My first reaction was when I saw Harry, I was shocked. Very frightening. I wouldn't like to meet him in an alleyway at night. I guess awestruck is the word, because it's magnificent and large. He's a foot taller than I am. He makes me look petite for the first time in my life. Though the cast hinted at Harry's identity, they stopped short of revealing his true magic. However, keeping an immense creature under wraps proved difficult when shooting moved to a freeway outside Seattle. There, drivers got a first-hand look at Harry. I don't know what it was, to tell you the truth. He was so cute. His head must have been about four feet long and about two feet wide. The teeth were an inch and a half, two inches long. And just like, <laughs> like that. Despite his dramatic impact on those who see him, those who know Harry find his personality overshadows his startling looks. The creature is miraculous, marvelous, loving, warm, sensitive. <laughs> He's cute, his eyes. He looks fearsome, but we discover real quickly just how soft he is. Director William Deere came closest to revealing the essence of Harry. So off the record, I'll tell you what it is. I better not. Hey, Mark. Hey. Whatever the case, when Harry is finally unveiled upon the film's release, the audience will see a creature unlike anything they've seen in the past. Harry is spiritual, timely, ageless, <clears throat> terrifying. Harry's my best friend. You, you mean he lives here with you? <laughs>